let's see how much it's going to set me back today. All I can say is it's a great thing I don't drive a diesel truck because that's $5.99 a gallon or $5.59 right now for regular unleaded. Crazy. Just crazy. Hopefully you can read that. 144.44. And my gauge said I had a half a tank. Ouch. Puffin' and puffin'. Trip number two for concrete from Home Depot. So the calculator said I need 35 bags. Uh, yesterday I got 10. Today I picked up 13 more. And that means tomorrow I need 12 more. And the reason why I'm getting them in split loads like this is because uh, this is a half ton pickup truck. And uh, I don't want to get too carried away with the weight. <laughs> I probably could do it in two. Um, I think I calculated it out at 2,800 pounds when it was done. So even doing it in two would be iffy at 1,400 pounds each. But pretty cool, right? So I'm in the parking lot. Yesterday I came over and got the first batch. One of the employees in the store walked over and helped me load it all up onto the cart, which was super nice. And then today, I get the second batch, and uh, some random guy walking through the parking lot walked over. And, well, I was I had a couple on the tailgate, and I was sorting them in the back. Uh, I jumped up on the cart and just started tossing them to me. <laughs> Freaking heavy! I mean, you don't think 80 pounds is heavy? And don't get me wrong, it's not. Um, I lift weight all day long at work, so it's not that big of a deal. But it's such a small, bulky container that, man, 80 pounds feels like 200. All right, headed back home now. It is Thursday. We got done with uh, got done with work early. They were looking to cut hours, and I was finally caught up since vacation and got ahead. So I volunteered to get out of there, so I got my video uploaded and then headed over here to pick up the concrete and then uh, headed over to uh, Big John Chevron to go ahead and fill up the truck before the price of gas goes up again and fill up the uh, gas can for the generator. I have a full one at home but I, I kind of like to make sure that both, can both containers are full or as full as they possibly can be. close. We're getting really, really close to getting this done. And it's kind of a gorgeous day out. It's 55 degrees, which is beautiful. The only reason why I have the hoodie on is because I was in the store and I look, you know, I think I look like kind of an idiot when I'm wearing just a t-shirt. All right, let's get this thing moving. See you when I get back home.
So I've got one, two, three, four times five is 20. Two times eight is 160. 1,600 pounds of concrete right there. Oh. Check the calculator again and see how many more I need. That's cool. <laughs> it's the first time I've had all the sauna tubes in at one time. I was doing it row by row, but that is very, very awesome. Weather's not cooperating with me. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna level these off right now and probably cut them and end up throwing garbage bags over the top of them so they stay dry. Uh, but yeah, looks awesome. Looks so cool. <laughs> it looks like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't. This is not mine, but I'm sure that you could rent one if you wanted to.
All right, let me get going here. All right. It is level on itself. Nice. <laughs> So looking at this, what I noticed, or what I think I've noticed, is that this is the highest point of all of the piers. So I'm going to use this as, in my head, pier one. This is the one I'm going to measure everything off. Bef but before I cut it, I'm going to make sure of it. And I'm thinking that, now I had said that I wanted a, a good three feet under the cabin, right? Um, so what I'm thinking is that here's my two foot mark. All right, now imagine on top of, so if this would be the top of the, of the pier, um, the top of the bracket and the top of the, say, the beam, we'll be looking at just about three feet of crawl space underneath there. Uh, two feet completely clear, but then three feet. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark every one of these right now. I'm gonna double check them first, and then I'm gonna mark them, and then uh, I'll pull them out, cut them, and put them back. And the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna number them I'm going to number them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so that I make sure I get them back in the right holes that they go into. Uh, then I'm going to, like I said before, I think I'm going to, I'm going to cover them with a garbage bag and we'll probably be done with this for the evening. But um, I want to make sure that uh, they all go back into the same holes and I don't want to cut them until I know that this is the highest point that I need to have. Um, and I had to stop recording there for a minute because Brother Will popped over. <laughs> So let's fire this back up again. And it's self-leveling. And the way that this stick works is, I'll turn it on first. So. Yeah. So I need to go down quite a ways. So, if I do this right, here, oh.
<clears throat> Look at where I marked everything. That was the absolute highest spot, it looks like. here out of the ground I don't know how accurate this is going to be twenty six inches twenty eight inches Thirty inches. That's probably closer to twenty nine. It swells a little bit there. <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out one at a time. I'm going to go ahead and number them below where I marked them. I'm going to take them out one at a time, and then I'm going to cut them, pop them back in there. Number one. Number two. Number three, number four. Come on. Nice. So now you see how it, uh, I mean, it looks level. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty fired up about how this turned out. It turned out very, very well. And you're probably wondering why I went to the trouble of putting the numbers on the, on the sauna tubes if I was going to take them out and cut them one at a time. That's because if we get a good rain, I mean, right now I've just got garbage bags over the top of them so they don't get soaking wet. But if we get a good rain, I'm going to have to pull them out. Uh, and I want to make sure they go back in the exact same hole that they're supposed to go back in. So that's why the numbers are on there. But I'm pretty fired up. Pretty excited. I mean, just did a casual glance. They're all nice and level. So the next step from this process will be, uh, now that I have the height that I'm supposed to have, I'll set up that laser level again either tomorrow, uh, depending on what time I get back from helping out uh, Bill at the Lone Moose, or um, Sunday, and I'll... I'll run another stake right here on both ends on each one of these. So there'll be a stake here and all the way down and a stake there and all the way down. Those stakes will stay permanently. I'll be able to pull up most of what I have here. Uh, but the, the goal of those stakes is to make sure that every single one of these sauna tubes is lined up right down the middle. Uh, and then when the concrete gets poured, I'll tighten the string back across it again and I'll sink every one of the um, post brackets on top of it right on the string line. So that's the next project. And as soon as I get everything all leveled up and tightened up after I get those on, um, I'll, I'll, I'll level up the, the sauna tubes themselves and repack the holes full of dirt. Um, and then basically the sauna tubes will be ready to mix concrete and pour. Awesome. Excellent. Deserves a beer, doesn't it? Let me show you my mess. I'm going to save all these end pieces uh, because I have other projects down the road um, that I'll be able to use these on. I'd like to build a little shop, uh, possibly uh, an upgraded chicken coop from what I have now, um, something a little bit bigger. Uh, so I can, I'll be able to use all of these. I'll be able to put all these to work. But uh, 
it's my kind of job where you can sip a beer while you're doing it. <laughs> So just another step in the process, uh, but I feel a lot more comfortable about it now. Let me show you what I got. Every single sauna tube is cut to proper height. Every one of them is level. It's hard to tell, I'm sure, that these are all level to each other right now. I mean, that one back in the corner is level to that one right over there, which is level to that one right over there. Uh, and I put the garbage bags over them because it, we've been getting rain on and off, but just moisture, not, not a whole lot of rain, not soaking rain. Uh, but I have every one of these uh, sauna tubes marked with a number. So basically that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And they all have the numbers on them. So if I have to take them out, they'll go right back. <coughs> oh, hold man, it poured all night last night. I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I put the sauna tubes or the garbage bags on top of the sauna tubes. They don't really look any worse for wear. They all look pretty dry at the base. There's no real water in the holes because it just soaks it right away. Chickens were out in the rain this morning. Looks like the Concrete stayed covered up. <laughs> Water in the mixer. <laughs> well, that was a good call. It's Father's Day morning. I just, I woke up late. I slept until like six o'clock this morning. <clears throat> and then, uh, so today I need to um, measure out those last lines that'll line up my sauna tubes perfectly down the center uh, of each row. So I'll need to use the laser level for that. I'll get that done this morning. The board's going to come by and pick the level up later on this afternoon, I think. And then uh, basically I'll be ready to pour at that point. I'm pretty excited. Well, I mean, I have to pack the soil in around the base of the sauna tubes, get them all nice and level, and then I can pour. Pretty exciting. We're getting closer and closer. For all the dads out there, I hope you had a wonderful Father's Day. By the time this video shows up, um, it'll be probably well past that. But, uh, you know, I, I often joke, and I posted it on the community tab today, that, uh, you know, how come moms always get to get taken out to dinner, uh, taken out to places on Mother's Day, but dads always have to cook their own food? Um, and, and I always say that jokingly because, honestly, dads actually like to cook their own food. <laughs> I'm going to grill up a, another ribeye steak for dinner tonight. And then uh, I've got a steak, potatoes, fresh green salad, some expensive good blue cheese salad dressing. I didn't feel like making it myself. Uh, I'm going to do that for dinner. It'll be awesome. I've already heard from my kids. That's the best part about it. You know, when the kids call and wish you happy Father's Day. Alrighty, I got some stuff to do this morning. And then uh, I'm going to get busy lining up those uh, um, final lines for the sauna tubes. And then uh, we can get busy on concrete. <laughs> Thank uh you. -huh. 